switch to a lucky fan who has smashed the subscribe button and commented hashtag on every video this week. So good luck and enjoy the video. I called y'all here today because we have a problem. We are the richest people in the West. But every time we try and send our money up north, it gets stolen by some bandits. I know, I know, calm down. But I have come up with an idea. A way to transport our money from this great land here all the way up to the banks. We will build a train. A train so big and so strong that no bandit in this place can ever take it down. We will call this train the Titanic on Wheels. So the Titanic just went down two weeks ago. Well, call it big, really. Then we will call it the Choo Choo Monga. Send it up north. Cause that's where the banks are. To throw off the bandits should be a first class luxury line. For everyone down here who's rich enough to afford a ticket, they will also have safe passage up north. Because my friends, you and I both don't want to see our hard earned money. Ooh, no, no, no. Go to waste. Now do you? Sir, this all sounds like a great plan, but who's going to build the Choo Choo Manga? That is a great question, son. And seeing as how I just wasted the last of my money, we'll have to cut costs. I know who it should be! I heard about these two young whippersnappers, Papa, Jake, and Logan. I hear them on the radio every day. I say we're hiding them. They only charge in tape rolls. Ha <laughs> ha! She's right! Then we will get this Papa, Jake, and Logan to build the Choo Choo Manga. Can I get a Choo Choo Manga? Choo Choo Manga! Choo Choo Manga! So, my friend, how did it go? Well, they're building a train to transport money. And they totally bought my act. They're gonna make some kind of rich train to transport all their money. And they're gonna disguise it as a luxury train to transport passengers. How convenient is it that these people get to travel in luxury? But really, they're transporting a secret stash of money in the back of the train. We will show this in the Pentateuch train, the true strength of us. We will take it down, stop it, and steal every last penny from you. Blackbeard, pirate of the land. Ayo, hey, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake, and welcome back to a brand new video. And guys, today, me and this guy, Logan. Logan, what are you doing? You can't drive that in here. Dangerous. No, Logan, Logan, do not drive the ATV inside. Guys, today we are doing another crazy challenge. Something that is as crazy as the boat week we just filmed in the summer. If you guys saw that series, then you guys know that that was an extraordinary feat to pull off. We are basically now going to replicate that, but on land. You'd think it would be easier, but Logan, I don't know. Well, Jake, of course it's easier because we're not dealing with waves and we're on land. It's just easier. The land's got raccoons, Logan. We are building the Choo Choo Manga. Manga, choo choo manga. Hashtag choo choo manga, choo choo manga. The bulk of the train is going to be on this. These are going to be the plywood pieces that we are going to connect together. And since we don't have a train track, because we're going to be driving on like a road, we have these massive wheels. I mean, just, just look at the size of these things. They are huge. We now have the base of the train, and this is going to be how long this thing is. It is going to be absolutely massive. This is a first class train that not only has to appeal to extremely rich passengers, but it also has to carry $1 billion in cash and probably our greatest challenge other than actually making this thing and having it work and not crash or roll over or get hit by a car is bandits. We got to make sure no bandits get in here and steal this train. If you guys want to join the Papa J squad, hit that like button, hit that bell button and leave a comment hashtag down below. Okay guys, so check it out. We have the bottom bottom of the train completely sealed all together. And I mean, this thing, it's sturdy. It's gonna be powered by this 1800s, totally, totally was invented back then, uh, ATV. But now what we have to do is we have to go to each individual spot and put the wheels on the train. Once that's complete, we can then start building the cardboard exterior of it. I went and got Logan out of his editing cave and I'm ready to show Logan the first steps of our amazing train. And it's actually starting to look like a train. We've got all the wheels put on this thing. Look at this. Remember when I said this was more dangerous than on water? This is way 
more dangerous, dude. This is gonna be insane. So we're gonna put cardboard on it and turn it into a billionaire train, Logan. But I thought before we do that, before we do any of that, this is a golden opportunity to get to test this thing out just like this. I've never wanted to ride a giant this skateboard. This is the world's biggest skateboard. Well, you know, the only problem is, Logan, the wheels, they turn. So like, we could technically start going down the wrong way. Fred! Oh! This is pretty epic. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. There's no brakes, there's no steering. Can this thing go on the road with cars? I mean, it's got off-wheel tires. It's also a train. If anything, I think a car is gonna be more scared of this than we are of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Jake. <laughs> Boy. We're flying. Choo choo! Choo choo manga! Choo choo manga! Choo choo manga! Jake! No, I'm sorry to go fast! Oh, There's a car! There's a car! <laughs> 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 a poor vision. So guys, we put down the first layer of the cardboard that's gonna be the base layer. Obviously, we're still gonna be building it up with tape, but we need to turn this into a big box. Boom! Have you ever seen that, Jake? That's pretty sturdy. We should use screws more often. All right, guys, check it out. The Choo Choo Manga choo -choo is manga, officially choo -choo manga, choo -choo complete. Manga. Four cars long with a lead car is ready to go on an adventure. Jake, I think we might need a driver's license or some kind of permit for this thing. Logan, you don't need a driver's license to drive a train. Everyone knows that. Guys, this is the front of the train with all of the conductor stuff we need. A lot of these are kind of complicated, but basically it makes the train go forward. It makes the train go backwards. So I actually don't it's the coal room Logan. It's, it's this, this isn't a fun room. This it's actually a little smoky It is well if you open this up, that's where we stick the coal oh. to, uh, to make the train move. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the more VIP sections down this way. Oh, that's a lot of smoke Okay, so we go into the main VIP car. It's pretty nice. It's small, but that's you know That's what a train is This is gonna be the dining area where you can have your dinner look out the window See all the amazing views because this thing actually moves so we can go across the entire country boom, baby Welcome to the main bedroom suite we have a telephone in case you want to call room service get something down to your room a nice little notebook and of course your comfy bed you can go to sleep in the station wake up in France and then the main reason we built this train that you guys all know although it's top secret so shh, don't tell anyone especially not bandits it might seem like this is the last car but in fact it is not there is one more car and it is holding all of the money Behind this brick wall, we open up the window, and here is where all the money's gonna be kept. No one's gonna know. But guys, before we actually hand this train over and give it to the people that hired us to build it, we thought we need to test it out to make sure that it actually works, which means taking it out on the train tracks and seeing if this thing will hold up. Is this a good idea? I don't know. I'm kinda scared standing here. It's kinda this is bad. literally the Titanic of trains. Choo-choo! Oh, Jake, okay, all right. I don't even know if this thing's gonna be able to pull it. This is so heavy. We got a bit of a hill, so braking is definitely gonna be an issue. But Logan, you get to be inside the Choo Choo Manga. I'm so jealous. <laughs> All right, guys, we have the front car hooked up. Everything is ready to go. All right, Jake, let's do this. All right, dude, choo-choo manga, let's go. Choo-choo manga, all aboard. Oh, I'm scared. I'm getting scared as we speak. I'm closing the door. All right, Jake, let's go. <gasps> oh, it will. Jake? Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move into the bedroom. Oh. Okay, we're moving fast. We're moving really fast. The Choo Choo Manga is moving. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. We're actually doing it. Oh, Jay, slow down. Slow down. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. chill, chill, chill. We just crashed. Jay, what's going on over there? Oh, we've had some serious damage on the Choo Choo Manga. Oh, Jake, this isn't good. Oh, we lost the wheel. No, you didn't. Oh, Jake. We are stuck in the middle of nowhere and we just lost a wheel. Oh, we have a serious problem. The train has crashed and slightly derailed. All right, the train is now missing a wheel, but I think we're okay. The Choo 
Chumong is going to uh, its destination. All right, we're back in. We're going without the wheel. We gotta get the train full to the destination. Oh boy. Oh, a lot's going wrong. The telephone's slightly broken. It looks like we're going down some grass now. <laughs> Choo Choo Manga. Destination. That was crazy, dude. I can't believe this thing actually worked. And we went off road. All right, guys, well, it's time to get this train back home to the station and fill it up with money. Honestly, I don't see anything going wrong with this Choo Choo Manga. They're going to be able to get that money and transfer it without a single problem. This is an absolute beast. Driving on the Choo Choo Manga. I'm proud to announce today that the great Choo Choo Manga has been completed and is on its way carrying our billions of dollars safely stowed inside its first class force. Thanks to Papa Jake and Tony. The greatest train builders we have. Can I get a hero? Hero! Get me some of that money. Whoa, what's going on? Don't move. Shh. Must be nice in a train like this. Ah, there she is. All that money. Oh, 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 oh. come to me. Ah. Riches. <laughs> All right, time to blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> Let's go, come on. We got it all. Yeah, stop grabbing it. <laughs> Get the diamond. <laughs> Everything. Don't leave a single thing here. All right, I'm coming on. Here I come. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah. Everyone, I have some terrible news. I just got off reading the paper, and apparently, the Choo Choo Manga's been robbed. What? The train's been robbed? How can that be? Papa Jake and Logan said that the Choo Choo Manga was indestructible. You are correct. Whoa. Papa Jake, what are you doing here? The Choo Choo Manga you had us build was robbed. But the reason it was robbed was not anything to do with our building skills. If I know something about building box forts, and I know a lot, it's that we built a Choo Choo Manga when we should have been building a Choo Choo Manga. You see, in my experience, two-story box forts are much more advantageous. They work better. Then why didn't you build it two stories in the first place? We gave you our money! Yeah! Yeah! You got an angry crowd here, Papa Jake. You don't need to explain yourself. Well, you seem like a man that would take a risk. So I say, instead of firing us, you rehire us and have us build that Choo Choo Manga once more, but this time, double the size. Burn me once, shame on me. But burn me twice, you've got yourself a deal. Then it's settled! The Choo Choo Manga will be rebuilt as a two-story moving fortress. And from today forward, it will be called the Choo Choo Manga! Choo Choo Manga! Choo Choo Manga! Manga. We are going to be taking the Choo Choo Manga to new levels. Jake, two stories is too dangerous. Two stories, if we crash, it's not gonna be good. Logan, like I said, if we build this thing two stories, they will come. What? I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I heard it in a movie once. Okay, look, guys, right now the Choo Choo Manga, you know it works. <laughs> But we need to now go back to the drawing board and make a second story. This is going to be the most dangerous thing we've ever done. We have built very tall box forts that move before, but they've always been on water. Can you just explain to me how making this two stories is gonna give any more defense to the robbers? 
because it's bigger. The bigger the train, the harder it is to fall. The point is, Logan, two stories gives us room for like a, a lookout tower that you can use our blasters to take down guys. It also means we can hide all of the gold and money upstairs. It is a foolproof plan. So a little update for you on the Choo Choo Manga. As you guys can see, it is coming along and looking amazing, but it's raining. It's pouring. There's an old man snoring. I think it's Logan over there snoring. I can hear him. But guys, regardless of that, the Choo Choo Manga is looking awesome. It is nowhere near complete, but this thing is an absolute beast. And keep in mind, we are going to be shredding down this street at like 20 miles an hour. Hopefully there will not be a car on the road when we go down the street. But let me show you guys inside and give you a tour as to what it looks like. So if you come in the front entrance, you might notice it looks fairly similar. We've got our area for adding coal so we can actually power the train. And if we come on into, oh, okay, the train moves. And then you come into the main area here, which is by no means done, but it gives you guys a good idea as to what we're actually going to do in the Choo Choo Manga. So as you can see, I'm actually standing up inside the train now, which is pretty crazy, but we're going to make this like a luxury kind of chill area. We've got a window you can look out here. Here. We've got a window you can look out on the other side and then over here we have a walkway So this upper section here is actually going to be all cardboarded off and it's going to be its own room It's going to be a super awesome train defense room where we have all of our blasters I also think we're gonna make like a hole in the roof So we can actually stand on this up through the hole and take out any bandits that try and come near this thing If we come down the walkway here, you guys can see that this entire space is actually open now I'm not entirely sure where we're going to be hiding all of the really precious money and jewels this time. I haven't really quite figured that out, but I am so excited to actually see if this thing's going to work. It is probably double the weight now, including the fact that we've had to add a table. And I'm a little bit scared for Logan, but standing up on this, looking outside, and even going out there to use the blaster is going to be crazy as this thing is going down off road. It is going to be absolutely insane. The other cool thing is we can actually turn this into like a cool little pod space where, you know, you can lie down. I also think we might add some more security features on the train like having different portholes that we can fire out of and maybe having a way that we could like close up these windows if we need to but there's definitely a lot to do including getting power in here and of course all of the cool features like the olden days they had phones and books and all that kind of cool stuff so we still got a lot of things to add to this but so far the Choo Choo Manga is coming together and this might be the craziest I mean Logan's on here so I'll say it if we get 30,000 likes we'll do a three Choo Manga <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible. That might break the laws of physics, but if we get 30,000 likes, guys, we'll do a three Chumanga. But let me know in the comments down below. Now that you've seen the plans, do you think this thing is gonna work? Or is this really dangerous? Cause I'm starting to get a little scared. But, all right, I gotta get back to building. All right, guys, check it out. The moment has now arrived to show off the official Tutu Manga, Tutu Manga. Look at the size of this thing. All aboard. Oh, guys, this is the ultimate box for train VIP experience. Experience. Check out the interior. We have a first class quarters here where you can read a Okay, we've got a first class quarters here where you can read your old-fashioned timey book You know, maybe have a meal here. You can store some luggage over here If you walk down just like a real train, we've got a very skinny aisle here It's uh kind of hard to walk, but you can actually come to the back of the train Which is where we are hiding the very secret safe. So shh don't tell anyone that is where we're hiding the safe that we are keeping the billions of dollars in. Now, not only do we have this secret spot for the safe and this awesome walkway, and by the way, guys, I mean, technically speaking, you guys have been loving the Choo Choo Manga videos. We could extend this. Like, imagine this kept going down and we had train cars on the left with rooms and different things like a kitchen, a movie theater. I'm not saying we're gonna keep making Choo Choo Manga videos, but if you guys like this video, smack that like button. But yo, check this out. This is by far the most epic part of this train. Behind this door, no burglar is going to want to be in here. It's all right. What do you mean it's all right? Dude, it's a full nerf arsenal. No, it is pretty sick. And you're forgetting one of the coolest parts. So check it out. You come in the arsenal here and you have access to all of your cool stuff. If someone's trailing you, you can look through this tiny little sniper hole, load up your sniper, and then... You can also come up through here. So we've got this port viewing hole. Just like that, we are now on top of the train. 
Yo, check it out. You can see the smoke at this front there. I mean, this is also just a good viewing hole. I mean, you can come out here, watch the you know, mountains go by, all the cool train stuff. But yo, guys, as much as I can keep talking about this, why don't we put this thing to the test? Logan, we have a job to do, and that is to transport billions of dollars of cash hidden inside this train. The Cho Cho Manga is officially leaving. The time is down o'clock. Please get your tickets and prepare to board the Choo Choo Manga. I'm ready to go. I think we're, we're all ready. Well, I'm gonna have to see your official ticket. Tickets here, Choo Choo Manga. Jake, come on. Dude, I built this thing. Tickets, we've got to leave soon. Here. Oh. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be enough. Here you go, yeah, sir. Please, sir. This Why way? We're late. We're running late. I'm the captain of the train. Yeah, you don't get to tell me we're running I'm late. late. Okay, get inside. You'll find all your accommodations in your seat here. Now, sir, I uh, I will warn you, if there are bandits, all guests are required in the fine print of your ticket sale to defend the uh, the train at all costs. So you got to defend the train if some I bad guys... I don't feel safe in this state. We had an accident on the last Choo Choo Manga. This doesn't feel safe. It'll, it'll be fine. Uh, and there's a great viewing area. So, you know, feel free to go up there at any time. Just maybe give me a warning in case I'm breaking. And yeah, just look out for bandits. I can't fight bandits because I'm scared of them, but you can definitely fight them. I'm gonna go drive this thing. It's very hard. It's a lot of forward and backwards and pretty much just forwards, but you know. All right, guys, we are inside the train conductor's seat. It is now time to start up this train. I'm gonna push some of these uh, train doohickey buttons, turn everything to max, because we're gonna need all the power we can in order to get this choo-choo manga going. And now it's time to go. Logan, the train is leaving. The Choo Choo Manga is finally taking off. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I don't know, it just can't be the safest structure. Two stories is never safe. Oh boy, it's going. Oh boy. Oh, we're starting. Guys, the Choo Choo Manga, it's actually working. We're pulling it. Feels like a train though. I feel like I have a nice comfortable space to move around in. And if anything bad happens, we got the armory. It's actually not a bad ride. We are going on the Choo Choo Manga. I'm gonna go up to the second story now. Oh, it's a really beautiful sunset. All right, guys, up ahead, things are gonna get a little bit bumpy. We've got a little bit of turbulence, but I believe the Choo Choo Manga can stay strong. Put a hashtag Choo Choo Manga in the comments down below. So we're about to go off road in the world's biggest box fort on wheels. Jake, what's going on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're going on the Choo Choo Manga. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Jake, slow down. Slow down! No, no, no! No, no! <laughs> no! I think we might be going down. Oh, it feels like it's flat. A choo choo manga! Woo! We are going into the sunset. It is beautiful. It's starting to get dark out, and that makes me a little bit afraid of bandits. We got bandits up ahead. Get to the defensive position. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is not good. All right. Well, you know what? It's okay. Be prepared for this. We have all the firepower we need. Jake, come on. We gotta go. Oh, this isn't good. What's going on? They're getting on the train. They're getting on the train? Get on. Get in there, Bruce. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shut the door. This is not good. My gun's jammed. My gun's jammed. Oh. All right, Jake. I took them out. Logan. What's going on back here? What do you mean, what's going on? Single-handedly taking out bad guys, Jake. Well, that's good. You better keep doing it, because we got more coming. No. I'm going to have to increase the speed. We got to get to the drop-off zone faster than before. Jake, how long is that going to be? We're maybe 10 minutes out. I'm going to put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> It's like 5 a.m. I was just seeing where you were going, Logan. Looks like you got a bag and everything. Where are you going without me? J Jake, it's none of your business. I'm taking a little vacation. I'm going to Malibu. Oh, Malibu, without me. I mean, I just don't know why you'd want to go to Malibu without me, uh, considering that just being here with me every day is like a vacation. Yeah, 
I know, I, I mean it, it is, but you know, sometimes it's nice to go on a beach. Also, Jake, it's gonna be a five-star vacation. I'm flying first class, first class hotels, first class restaurants. It's gonna be amazing. He's leaving? Really? What are you guys doing? Okay, I, just, I just don't get why you would want to leave us like that. I mean, it's five in the morning. Why are you two awake? Guard duty. We have all that stuff here. First class airplane, are you kidding me? I could whip one of those up in five seconds. Plus, I bet you spent thousands of dollars on that first class airplane. I actually got it on Aeroplan points, so it actually was like free. I don't know about these Aero chocolate points you've got, but what I do know is that we have a five-star vacation right here. And if you think you're so tall and mighty. I am tall. That you want to go on your vacation, then fine. I'm going to have a better, if not the same vacation right here. First class airplane and everything. And the viewers will decide who had the better vacation. That's fine. With me, I'm gonna get going because I got a flight in like an hour. Biggs? Oh, what's up, Jake? I wake up at 5 a.m. every day to practice Pac Man. My man! Pac Man! My man! Okay, well, it was nice running into you guys. I will see you later. Good luck with that first class you're trip. You're gonna regret it, Logan. I'm telling you, you're gonna regret it. All right, so we just got to the airport, and like I was saying earlier, it's 5 a.m., but the good news for us is we're fine first class, so it doesn't really matter what time it is. We're gonna have a good time. All right, guys, so I just woke up. It's super early in the morning. It's like 11 a.m., and uh, I gotta catch my first class plane. You know, I'm really excited. Now I get to show you guys what a box fort first class plane looks like. I don't know what Logan's footage looks like, but I can tell you right now, my experience is gonna be way better. I mean, the plane is literally in my house and it's about to leave. Let's head downstairs and board this plane. I mean, at this point, it's not even a plane. It's a private jet. Oh no, there's a lot of people here, which means big lines. But another perk we have about our first class experience is we get to go in a priority line. I'm obviously gonna win. I'm going on a real vacation on a real plane and on a luxury first class plane. Guys, so I made it to the plane and it is now time to board. Uh, it looks like, Phil, Phil, what is this? Sir, we're gonna need you to pass all security testings before entering the box for a plane. It's literally just me boarding the plane. We don't need security. Thanks, Steve, please take his bag. I was supposed to take my bags. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure, you know what? Look through my bag. It's just me on the plane, Phil. Please step right up into my next view. You didn't even make this tall enough, Phil. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? Your bag still needs to go through the x-ray machine. That's not an x-ray machine, it's cardboard. Whoa, 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 there seems to be a suspicious object in here. Did he even pass security school? I can assure you, everybody has their proper credentials. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's see what you got That's in here, my bag. As I watched the sunrise, it was time for me to board my first class flight. And so far, we were off to a great trip. Not a fuss in the world, no lines, easy travel. Things were going great. I, I don't think this is really necessary, Phil, okay? Jake, why do you have duct tape and tools? Because Phil, you guys built the plane, okay? I was a little bit worried that in case you didn't build it properly, I might have to make some repairs on the fly. Everyone brings duct tape and hammers where they go places. It's just a saw. It's a cardboard saw. Wouldn't hurt a fly. You didn't trust us to build you your plane? Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little afraid of planes. So in case something happened, I might need to build myself like a parachute. You know this what? can't go in here. I don't know what's going on, but I don't think it's good. Jake, Phil? don't worry. It's way too cold out there, and the tape isn't sticking, but and the wind is blowing everywhere. <laughs> this plane's taking off without wings. What? Phil, we need the wings. You can't take a plane off without wings. You can. I Googled it. Google. Phil, I'm freezing. This is supposed to be a first-class airplane. What, I'm going to walk down the tarmac? Yes, sir. But don't worry. You got yourself your own private chef. How do you think about that? I don't care. I thought I was going to sleep on this plane. For breakfast this morning, we are gonna be having the omelet. Is this a first class? Oh, I have no. <laughs> is this your coffee? Phil, no, it is freezing. Don't worry, Jake, I'm taking you to the... <laughs> really wish I had that tape right about now. Phil, this does not feel very first class. Why is he getting in a back door? It's on the back door staff. I'm your chef for the evening. Please, welcome inside. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, it's freezing in here, Phil. Did you guys even turn the heat on? Okay, it looks like I'm inside the plane, guys. Our plane seat also comes with this little pouch of goodies. Inside we have 
cashmere socks. I masked for sleeping. And we got ourselves a toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> Not sure what Logan's plane looked like, but it does look like there's a bit of a snowstorm and a lot of wind. Jake, let me just tuck you into your bed. <laughs> You're not gonna feel a thing. What does that mean? I'm not gonna feel a thing. I got you a complimentary <laughs> Timbit. I don't want that. This Timbit's frozen. It's frozen so much. Okay, just sit back, relax. Say where, Phil? Oh, wait, your door's right here. Okay. Oh, that is a little fancy, at least. There you go. I bet Logan didn't have a door on his plane. Right here, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> to see the sights. We're going to go sightsee later. It's going to be great. You're missing your roof. It's this is why here. I brought tea. <laughs> it's snowing on me. We are taking off. Up, the sun is shining, and it is time to start eating breakfast. Vinzi, how's that complimentary coffee coming along? Phil, it's going around great. I just got the water in, got to press start and get him his nice warm coffee. Also, Big Z, I don't think he's liking this plane very much. We gotta pull out all the stops. Where's the donuts? Right here. They smell good. Why are you wait for your nice warm cup of coffee? Yeah. Would you like a donut? Sure. <laughs> I'm so cold, Phil. Please start the plane, take here me to go. Florida. <laughs> How's that? Doesn't that just make your experience that much better? A little. I think I'm gonna cry. Take me to Florida. Don't forget, you have your complimentary Xbox with Halo Infinite built in. I can't play, my fingers are frozen. Oh, well then use your complimentary hand warmer. Okay. Keep it on. Here we go. I didn't hope that I look better than how Logan looked in his place. Our seat has its own remote control for the TV, but it's not just a remote control. It's also a controller for video games. Now we might not have Fortnite or Minecraft, but we do have chess. So far, the first class experience has been uh, not so first class. The donut was good. I'll give them that. But the plane has uh, massive holes in it. It's freezing cold outside. It's extremely windy. Also, Biggs is living underneath me and cooking food, which kind of scares me. So guys, uh, it sounds like the plane is taking off, which is good because I want to get out of wherever we are. It is absolutely freezing here. I really hope this beats Logan. I mean, I, I, I just, I can't see how a commercial airplane could be that much better than this. I mean, it is still my private airplane. Now that we're up in the air, let me show you some of the features of this seat. Our seat comes with a bunch of different options. It even has a built-in massager in it. And the best part of all, it can transform into a bed. This is by far my favorite part. You can fully lie down, watch movies, and go to sleep. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Oh. Oh, I guess we're going to the runway now. So I just remembered we don't have wings, so I'm a little confused how that's gonna work. I guess I have a viewing hole though. And I mean, I have binoculars. I guess Logan didn't have binoculars on his plane. Bye home. I'll see you when I'm at Florida. Okay guys, so me and Big Z have officially got the plane ready for takeoff. I'm gonna have to tell my passengers to buckle up though. I've never tried to fly a plane without wings. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna need everybody to move from their beds to the seats. Hi, and thank you for flying with Friendly Phil Airlines. Please look to your left and watch your flight attendant explain the security features of this aircraft. You'll see how to buckle and fasten your seatbelt securely. In the event of a water landing, this is cardboard. So, you know. All right, well guys, I've moved to the uh, the seat that, that they've so kindly uh, given me because apparently during takeoff, we have to be in our seat and not in the pod. I guess I'm gonna fasten my uh, my seat belt. Thanks to uh, Biggs for that instructional video. So this doesn't actually fasten to anything, so I'm just gonna put it here and I guess it'll make me feel a little safer. Close my eyes and try not to imagine this massive 200 pound thing trying to fly. Here we go! Here we go, Phil! Oh. Hope you know what you're doing! I am buckled up! I'm scared, Phil! I don't like flying! Oh. Oh. No. 
Very cold. 